I watched Mar <laughs> say Marvel. Maru the Crown. I watched Netflix's The Crown season two. Um I was huge, huge fan of season one and I'm so glad I kept going. I looked it up. There's gonna be like six seasons, so <laughs> um this season like the first season is obviously how she came to power and how the husband, really the husband, dealt with it. Um this season it shows the whole family as a whole and what I like really liked about this season, like every person, every main character got their own they got their own episode, they got their own story, they got their own plot and how it all came back to reflect negatively mostly on the queen. Um they show Princess Margaret and her loves, her failed loves, her her marriage and this like that shit. So, um they show her being a mom a little bit, like towards the very, very end. Um they show how the Duke became the prince very pettily, actually. So, um that was cool. It was really cool to see. Um because I always wondered about that and it's got my answer. Um, they showed their, the, the prince and the queen's dynamic, their relationship. And now it's basically not really a relationship. Everyone else seems to know more about their relationship than she does. So, um, it's a really good season. 10 episodes, actually an hour an episode. So that's really good. Um, it also shows... It, this season showed more than last one. The last one is like, oh, we need the queen. We need the queen to do this. This season is like, you know, there's the minister and then there's the queen. Like, she supports what the minister does, but there's still a whole government, like parliament. So it's like they come to her to let her know, like, yo, so this is happening type stuff. Like, you need to prepare. It's like she seems like she's more... Like, she took a step back in a way. Or maybe that's just how it is. But it's like, she deals with more of the media fallout than per se everyone else does. But um, the big scandals, was like, it's so funny watching that. They're like, oh, someone's getting divorced. It's a scandal. It's like, oh, wow. Nowadays, you know, it's a scandal because this person raped this person. That's crazy. You know, back then, it's like... You divorced. It's a scandal. You're such a harlot. Whole family is degenerates. It's crazy. Um, and the show is funny because it showed JFK and it's Dexter Morgan. It's so awesome. <laughs> he got the accent and stuff. Like, JFK is one of my favorite people. And it showed the dynamic, the relationship between him and Jackie. And it's like, dang, it's all this public news because, dang. <clears throat> like it shows people and it shows these families and then it gives like the background on them like it shows spoilers but you can look this stuff up um the the basically the queen's family's ties to nazis like it's kind of shocking <laughs> it's like is this all true and you look it up it's like oh my god and in some episodes they show the real life pictures it's like what? It's crazy. Like, it's just boom, mind blown. Um, but yeah, um, the JFK. And it showed, like, they didn't get, Jackie and the Queen didn't get along, which kind of totally makes sense to me because, I mean, I'm not going there. But I just say it, like, to me, when I saw it, the clip, and I read it in the, the episode of Bio, I was like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> um, I don't know. It was good. It's a really good season. Like I recommend it. And it, oh, it also showed the how the Brits went crazy for them, which is like totally opposite how Americans are with them. But it was it was it was funny. It was hilarious. Like the show is actually like low key funny. Like it's some super funny moments, but it's like subtle funny. But it's there. Um, I don't know. It's something for everybody to me. Like. I love the subject matter, personally. Like, I get crazy for the Brits. I'm not even going to lie. Um, definitely worth a watch if you had a good 10 hours of watching. If you need a new show, definitely watch it. 
watch the first season. Like, don't just jump into the second season because you're going to be like, the hell? So, yeah. But The Crown season two, thumbs up. It's, it's Claire Foy's last season. It sucks. Like, she's the queen, man. But she got to age. <laughs> she got to age. So, yeah. So, probably this, the next season will probably be covering the 80s then. And then... I guess a lot happens between the eighties and now because it's just two seasons. It's supposed to be four more. So but yeah, season two, the crown, amazing, really good. 